flight bus, bitch. You know, for sure. Mm -hmm. You're now to the mind of an Terry's moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God's duties and motherfucking responsibilities, nigga. Flight boss, bitch. And, you know, we in this motherfucker right now, and we finna do, um, you know what I'm saying? We finna do motherfucking July 6th, Monday, you know what I'm saying, 2015, for the next seven days, and this what the fuck is going on right now, you know what I'm saying? So let's see what the fuck is going on right now. But first of all, we know we in cancer season right now, so the motherfucking whole set stage of what's going on right now is um the, the stage that's set is the the foundation for for everything actions as in one because the sun is going so y'all y'all get it so we're not talking about your personal re uh actions or reactions to it but whatever your sun and moon is and all your other planets is aspecting the uh the nature of the energy that's going on right now is how you're going to adapt to it but right now we're in cancer season so cancer season you know right now the stage is set for uh for caring the set is uh state uh is set for um having uh well, having the feeling of foundation, not actually Capricorn as in the opposite, as in actually building the foundation, but having the emotional feeling of needing foundation and the emotional stability that goes behind building it, the, uh, the, the action and the, the action oriented and the things you'll be into and the feeling of the passion and the feeling of you have that you need a foundation to actually, to even be inspired to build a foundation. That's where cancer comes from. So that's the foundation we in right now. So you're gonna get a lot of fuck shit on the news. You're gonna get a lot of, uh, cause the news gonna care about a lot of fuck shit right now that nobody should be giving a fuck about right now. Then by the news penetrating that, it's gonna, it's gonna, manifest because that's what the that's what the news our masters are doing right now that is going to manifest into things that actually is happening to the point that we have to talk about nonsense and the things that's happening is nonsensical shit i don't even really want to name it because shit don't really even exist in my programs but if you want to give a few examples even the um um the the uh, little white the white dude killing killing um nine people in the church you got uh the motherfucker please don't come over here and fuck this motherfucking video up yo damn listen uh, sometimes you gotta uh tell people wait but look anyways you got the mother you got the motherfucking um you got the motherfucking, um, um, all these motherfucking riots and shit and the police killing people. It's a lot of bullshit. I don't even really want to get into details about the shit, really. You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm going to tell you, like, you know what I'm saying? That's what's going on right now. So, the shit on a large scale and the small scale trickle down to, uh, people, to everyday life. To when you go out and look at local, uh, your local star astrology, when you could point at, you know where the moon is at. So, what you would do, you would look at the moon at night and then... Uh, Cause that's when you can best see the stars, and you'll see what uh, what houses the stars is in, and what signs the uh, certain the stars, the closest stars you can see with the physical eye. You know what I'm saying? And those are local stars. You know what I'm saying? And um, you can um, uh, kind of elaborate what's going on with uh, sextiles, trines, and squares within your local area. The closest that's the closest ramifications of things that's going to happen minutes and seconds from now when you go from what things gonna happen from monthly and shit like that then you go to the sun and the moon when you when you want to talk about things that's going to happen um um for yearly and all that shit then that's when you want to go to uh jupiter mars and saturn and when you want to think about things that's going to happen generationally um you want to think about you know what i'm saying uh uranus and pluto and the outer planets chiron and all you know what i'm saying shit like that but uh let's get off topic right now but it's still related because we're in cancer right now and when it comes to uh cancer everyone um is having a um a care and emotion and emotions are heightened in the summertime and we we're getting and reason why um it's the emotional stability behind foundation is because right now what are we doing right now in the summer we we're getting we're we're getting prepared for the pools uh, uh, water pools to be open um and we're getting we're getting prepared for hotels and stuff to start uh to clean their pools out and open them we're getting prepared to start having uh festivities and shit right that right now we're, we're building a foundation so when the sun going leo that's when we uh all all the the 
the foundation of the emotional stability to build it for people to have a good time is going to be there for people to have it when when the sun goes into Leo so everybody could be entertained everybody could, uh, can enjoy the festivities of the uh, home of the home foundation that we just built out of the cancer season and America is a cancer you know what I'm saying that's why the 4th of July is um, is dealing with uh, cancerian traits everything uh, America is built on is dealing with cancerian traits so this is one of the most important months if you live in America um, one of the most important um, 30 days 30 degrees that the Sun could go through um, in America this is cancer is one of those you know what I'm saying and um you know what I'm saying this this American nation uh, well this corporation was built uh, in, during the cancer time so America hold a lot of cancer traits this is one of the reasons why we feel like we could police the world and and then we attach religion to it and everything and, and feel like we can we have an emotional attachment to thinking that we're doing uh, that we can police the world and 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 we can hold all the uh, emotional and, me and mentally and all the, all the uh, mentality of the whole world and 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 we, we care way too much about things that really don't matter and and now we all in these type of programs and shit you know what I'm saying but what's going on for this week you know what I'm saying that's just giving you the little back history of why uh, the Sun and cancer is important you know what I'm saying is important to America um, and you know okay the moon is in Pisces you know what I'm saying right now and it's, um, it's, it's, it's in like the same degree range as uh, the sun in Cancer, I think the sun in Cancer right now what uh, is 14 degrees, and the moon is at 15 degrees Pisces. So you got a, like a little triangle going on right now where people, um, uh, what people is caring about right now is more about um, is more about themselves. It's like what's going on, like how you feel is what you care about right now. Like you don't really, you don't today is not this for and probably throughout the rest of this week. For the next seven days, you're not gonna care so much about well until the moon goes in. The moon gonna be going in to um, Aries, and then when the moon goes into Aries, you know what I'm saying. That's when uh, it's gonna be heightened. Everything you caring about yourself right now, when the moon goes into Aries, it's gonna create a, it's gonna create a square with the sun. So it's gonna make you act on. The, emotion, the emotions you feel within yourself right now. So what's going on right now? So before the moon goes in the area right now, uh, since the sun, the sun and the moon is in a triangle with Aries and um, Cancer, what's going on right now is people are looking in within themselves of how they really feel about things, how they feel about things, but really to themselves. People may not even want, feel necessary to express their feelings to others because that's more of a sextile type of thing opposition type of thing but when it's in a trine it's more it's more goes in within and and figuring out and since it's in water right now it's about figuring out what's really going on figuring out who's truly truly with you right now figure how how you really feel about the relationships you you're dealing with right now with siblings uh female male friendships whatever is uh right now is people really obtaining to how they really feel about it so when the sun goes into aries is that's going to give you the square so it's going it's going to put you in situations the energy right is going to put you in situations where you're going to need to express the self express express what you've been feeling so right now uh, you're getting emotionally prepared for that anyway so if it's somebody you don't like right now you really you really get to that point within yourself right now like man I don't really even like this person as soon as the moon goes into Aries you're gonna act on that you know what I'm saying so it may it may be fights goes on and then it's, it, it works in vice versa too you maybe want to be friends you maybe want to get into a relationship with somebody you've been checking somebody out talking to them and stuff like that uh, right now you're you're feeling how how you really want to approach it so when the moon goes into Aries um, and it squares off with the Sun and cancer you it's gonna put you in the situations where it's gonna put you to act upon it but you're gonna be ready because it's a try right now anyway you know what I'm saying a, a cancer and Pisces moon cancer Sun Pisces moon so you, you're gonna be ready right now you're gonna you're gonna have that emotional stability to go for it as soon as the moon goes into Aries
You know what I'm saying? Right now, uh, Mercury is in Gemini, so it's a uh, it's like a little semi square to the uh, to the sun. So people are still communicating. You know what I'm saying? And communicating with what's going on, but it's, since the moon is a trine, what people are communicating are not necessarily their own personal feelings. People are just talking for the sake of it right now. People are even not really necessarily caring about what the other person is talking about. A lot. Of, so right now, it's like an energy of going on, of like a lot of going in one ear and out the other. A lot of people just talking and it's, not, it's really nothing important. People are not talking about anything important right now. People are not even really gossiping within each other like the past few weeks about each other. Right now, people are just, like, right now, what's going on, really, for an example, you could be in a, a group setting or having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody, right? And y'all actions could be, y'all can be doing something. Y'all can, say y'all on Facebook, right? But the conversation y'all having don't have anything to do with Facebook. It's like a conversation that y'all y'all might be talking about a car, but both of y'all on Facebook. Opposing to both of y'all being in tune on Facebook and talking about what's going on and what y'all looking at. It's, it's a situation that's going on right now where y'all might be talking about a car, but y'all both on Facebook, so on, on y'all phone. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like shit like that. Like, that's what's going on right now. And then, and then Mercury's in Gemini, so anything that's hitting the mind is talking except the feelings because the moon and the sun is, is in a trine. So that's like... So people are communic, and then it's like a semi-square to the Mercury, and then Mercury is in Gemini. So our people communicating are just people not really communicating. And then when people are even touching on their feelings a little bit today, it's gonna feel awkward because the energy is a trying right now. It's like it's like a it's like a to yourself. It's like a it's like a self-motivated type of energy when it's a trying. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's kick in. Let's see where uh let's see what Mars at. Mars is in Cancer. So Mars putting the emphasis on the sun. So a person's actions and an actions intent is that's the energy that's going on right now. So everyone's actions to a certain degree are going to be are going to be pushed to go in that direction. But by the moon, see we still have a moon here. By the moon still being in Pisces it's, it's, it's helping it's, it's helping you feel it's, it's putting more emphasis on what you should feel opposing to opposing to acting on something right now like because Mars is in cancer and, and cancer actions is is caring is uh, having an emotional state upon something opposed to being logical yeah something may sound logical but how did but but cancers are more concerned to how, how you look and how you the look on your face and how you felt and the way how you said it the way how you said it that's what counts it ain't what you actually saying yeah you could be smart all day you could be sarcastic all day but how you really felt when you were saying that that's what cancers care about so that's the energy that's going on and since the moon is in is in Pisces it, it creates it creates a trying to for people to do that within themselves and Mercury is in Gemini so people are choosing not to communicate about that really not even aware that they're not communicating about that just communicating about other shit because it's, it's more willing to to deal with the emotions inside right now and then by mars being in cancer it put the emphasis on that so that people are acting on that see mars is your actions intent like where where the sun is your actions like your day-to-day -day, which you which you're into on a day-to-day -day. Mars wherever Mars at that helps you that's where you put that into action so that's your action intent so really you can say it's the other way around your Sun is your action intent and your Mars is your actions but it could go either way vice versa that's why I said that but since Mars is in cancer people are acting on what I just said that cancer is doing with the moon you know what I'm saying? So people are acting more on that. People are are putting an emphasis on on. So so when you be sitting, for an example, when you may be sitting back and thinking like, uh, you you may be thinking about talking to a girl or whatever like that, but you don't want to uh talk to her yet. That's gonna happen when the moon goes into Aries. But say, right now, since the actions is on, uh. Is, is the stage, since the sun is in Cancer, is on building up enough courage. Mars is in Cancer also. 
that's what your mind is on. That's what your action intent is on. Opposing to another day that you'll be like, I want to talk to that girl, but I got to do something else today. I, I want, uh, I got to do this today. I got to do that. Then you might come back to that thought. Um, and vice versa for a girl who's thinking about a male or not just anything that you're trying to do. This is an example. Um, right now, since Mars is in cancer, it's putting the intent on that for you to handle that feeling. Handle that feeling right now. So when the moon goes into Aries in a couple of days, that's going to be, um, that's going to be, you, you're going to be actually ready. You know what I'm saying? You're going to actually be ready. And it's going to be like nothing, you know what I'm saying, to whatever you're trying to accomplish. Jupiter is still in Leo. So um, it's still putting an expansion on entertainment right now. So right now, uh, we just had 4th of July. And uh, it's people. a lot of people have fireworks. A lot of people did that. So a lot of people did that in the third. So by Jupiter being in Leo right now, um, it's going to be like an expansive in the entertainment field when the when the sun like every, it's like getting the sun prepared so when people start setting the stage and the actions for entertainment and and, tr and things for kids and children and um and you know what I'm saying shit like that it's going to be it's going to be real big this year so like i mean so big that i don't want to say this but it, niggas may even let off missiles and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, like to the point that it's it's gonna be real explosive, real expansive. That, uh, but to people's entertainment, it's not gonna be harmful. You know what I'm saying? But it, the news may portray it to be harmful. But other than that, as far as festivities and shit like that, it's gonna be a, a, a emphasis on that for this year, especially expansive on that. A lot of things gonna be going on this year. You know what I'm saying? And um. You know what I'm saying? It's expand, expanding people's horizon and spirituality. And a lot of people are going to hold spiritual annotations to things that may not have, that may need to be logical. And, and things that don't, and things that need to be spiritual, people may be inclined to make that logical. So it's making a cross reference. It's, 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 it's mixing things up right now, but until the sun going to Leo, people are going to get it figured out. But right now, people don't got it figured out because there's a lot of feelings and emotions involved. And when, a, when it's a lot of feelings and emotions involved, people have other sources to attach to, obtain to, to handle these, you know, like every, with everything, as far as philosophy, religion, metaphysics, science, whatever you into, you know what I'm saying? You're going to reach out to these things to, to help analyze your feelings in a logical way, which things should, should be separated. It shouldn't even be like that. But since the sun is in cancer right now, that's the stage, you know what I'm saying? Um... So let's talk about aspects now and shit. You got uh, Saturn being in a trine with uh, being in a trine with the moon, the sun, um, the moon, sun, and Mars. So, um, you know, the Saturn's in Scorpio right now. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, it's been, it been in retrograde. And what's going on right now is um, as far as the wide span of practical nature of what's going on right now is 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 it's like it's deepening the concerns so right now things like the news and shit like that have power of deepening the concern of certain things and it's manifesting in ways that deep dark things are happening for us to be concerned about because we manifested the energy of concernment in the first place. So dark things are happening. That's why these things are happening like this and people are getting killed and police are is because is we're manifesting deep a deep aspect of it and it's out of trying so it's it's doing it naturally right now too like it's like it's like a natural rebirth we have to go through right now. Like before before the sun go into Leo and we can be able to be able to enjoy with the energy the re we we are being going we're going through a natural rebirth this is a and things are happening natural so it's really it's 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 really mercury is saying it all right now mercury is not making us talk about it you know what i'm saying mercury is not making us really want to talk about it this is no, this is another reason why 
and I hate to keep bringing back to this, but this is the only way I can make example. This is this is this is one of the reasons Fox News don't want to talk about the root causes of certain things, but they wanna they wanna throw upon you and old people deep concernment of it. See, Mercury is 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 talking about it all right now. Mercury is the is is in Gemini. Mercury is 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 talking to one thing that's going in one ear and out the other. It's not reaching the deep concernment of things, but the actions that's going on right now is of an emotional state, which is this Cancer. And the Moon is in Pisces, and um, Saturn is in 28 degrees Scorpio. So it's deep. They're, they're throwing upon deep concernment. That you should emotionally care for. And and a Pisces is going to have a, a broad and thought of it. But the Mercury, by it being in Gemini, is not able to tackle those issues. It's only able to talk about the surface level of what's going on. And it's not even able to penetrate the root cause of it. So, it's like a, a love-hate thing right now. You can actually appreciate appreciate Mercury right now because it's bringing light to the. It's actually bringing light to the situation right now. People don't even really know how deep things really are right now. It's bringing light to the situations. You know what I'm saying? But then vice versa, it's bad because even when people who do watch the news every day and stuff like that, they're getting surface level, uh, breastfed news, and it's not. They don't even want to talk about the real cause issue of it. You know what I'm saying? You got people throwing it off. Throwing it off and into other perceptions, like it ain't the reason. Just like with the, they want to say that the kids shooting the nine people in the church wasn't race, and they want to flip it now and saying that it has nothing to do with that. It's just a, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just a bunch of, we could go into anything, even with Bruce Jenner, uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Now, people don't want to talk about, they don't want to talk about. The effect it's having on the kids or anything like that. They just want you to have a concernment of someone stepping out, claiming that they have courage with having this change, uh, uh, that that can have kids and actually do this change, opposed to how it's affecting the family anyway. But the emphasis is going to be on the family anyway because the son is in cancer. This shit is crazy, man. Like, shit is crazy. But the Mercury is taking is making light of the situation. You know what I'm saying? And you still got Uranus and Aries, which is is a square. It's squaring the sun and Mars. So uh, it's squaring change. So change is happening, but it's not happening. It's like change is trying to happen. So we're seeing things changing, but it's changing in a way that's not necessarily good it's, it's it's changing in a square way you got things that's putting th blockages in front of changes so we see the change but it's not making it's not making an absolute change because it's like a blockage there of a same system that's claimed to be still needed but you just have an awareness of a change right now so that's what's going on, you know what I'm saying? You just have an awareness of the change, you know what I'm saying? When the sun going to Leo, people going to have a more creative way to do their change, but apply it to what's the, the, the roadblock that's still, that's still squaring the change off. So that's the only thing that's going to happen when the sun going to Leo. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so that's the... And then... Um, yeah, all right. Neptune is in Pisces, so that's helping out the that's helping out the moon. So people are going into deep, deep illusions of their own thoughts. So people, a lot of people may be even nervous right now. This this is this is another reason why this is good for people and Mars being in uh, Cancer also, which also makes it a trine to Neptune, which and uh, making a trine to um, Scorpio, which is getting people in deep thought of what they should do before the moon go into, uh, well, watch, when the moon go into Aries, people gonna feel it. They're gonna be like, I'm ready to do it now. But Neptune, people, this is another reason why people may not be acting on if you wanna get that girl, if you wanna get that man, if you wanna get that car, if you wanna get that house, if you wanna get, this is another reason why people are, why you wanna tell somebody off at work that you haven't told off. This is another reason you, you're not doing it also because Neptune is in Pisces. So what happens is, it's like you, you're going to deep thought because Scor uh, Scorpio is in uh, Saturn. 
Saturn is in Scorpio, then making it a trine to the sun being in Cancer, and then by the motherfucking Neptune being in Pisces with the moon, is is making you make scenarios in your mind of whatever situation you're trying to emotion, emotionally stabilize yourself in. So whatever you're trying to get a grip of, you're you're making you're making different scenarios out in your mind and you're making scenarios that may scare you and you're making scenarios that uh that that may be best for you but you're getting into dream states and of this and creating certain emotional feelings of this and so you need to watch this because you could come up with a thought in your mind of a situation and play that whole situation out in your mind the way you see it and it may not even be like that or it may not even happen like that but what happens here is you start acting on that and if you're not watching that before the moon goes into um aries you can start acting on that like you know what i'm saying like and it'll show in your actions and you'll start doing things predicated on the scenario you made in the illusion you made in your mind and the thing it may not even be that way so you may walk yourself in a wrong situation you know what i'm saying so that's the only thing you may need to watch because when everything is in a trine um you can be too comfortable with what you feel for yourself which the good part about it is self-confidence it start you build it within yourself before you express it but the bad part about it is you may build a perception that may not be relative to what you really need to be in that situation you're trying to go in because you you you, you so thought of it yourself you're not considering the, another person's perspective upon it and then when you do think you're considering it it's your own perspective of how they perceive it opposing to having a conversation or see, or being having a sex tower square in your chart where you can where you can read people or you can be in certain situations you can you can kind of talk to them and have conversations where you can have a kind of outlook on a outlook on something where you can start perceiving it but if you just sitting back and having your own perception on how perceiving it, 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 it you got to watch that watch that and neptune can have that right now and it's just so much shit in the trine right now that's the bad aspect that could come out of a trine you know what i'm saying so watch that. You know what I'm saying? You got the North Node. North Node is in uh Chiron is in Pisces also. You know what I'm saying? So Chiron is like is like things that may have hurt you in the past and you still have that resentment to this day. So you may act you may act on you may act on um you you may still act upon today. Like, say somebody hurt you in the past, like years and years ago, you got hurt in the past. And you, as years went on, you start to feel, you start to realize and build up certain blockages of how they hurt you. And you don't want to get hurt like that again. So you act accordingly around that sphere of reality and vortex of, so anytime you interact with people you don't put yourself in that kind of situation again so that's like a resentful situation that's what chiron is so wherever chiron is at in your chart that's what like hap that's what occurs like resentment and shit like that that you have and shit you have to deal with in the future to uh and open yourself up to to not have that resentment so you can let other doors be open and, and take other steps in your life so um that's why it's good to know where your chiron is at but you know what i'm saying right now chiron chiron is even in motherfucking pisces so it's like a trine, a big ass, it's a lot of water going on, and Mercury is the light of it all. It's like, Mercury is the star for this week. Like, like literally, Mercury is the star for the rest of the week, like, you know what I'm saying? Mercury is the motherfucking star, and, 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 and I hate that it have to be so short. It's like short, I hate, I hate it have to be so short, but, you know what I'm saying? Mercury is the star for the next couple days, you know what I'm saying? Um... Yeah, then Mercury even goes into Cancer. But yeah, you know, and the North Node is in Libra. So, you know what I'm saying? Every, everybody is trying, everybody, since it's got all these trines, and then you got the North Node in Libra. So, er, people don't want to, don't want to make anything uneasy for another. People are, are don't want to be anything, don't want it to be anything 
um, un disingenuous or, or unharmonious right now. People people don't want to make things weird for the next person. People don't want to be in a situation that things get awkward. Everybody want to be in an agreeable situation right now. And then Mercury is making light of it all. It's not even making you talk deep to even get it into anything that's going to make it feel uneasy or uh, start making things feel unnatural. Everything want to be cool right now. You know what I'm saying? So this is a cool, mellow time to just sit back, relax, even take some time to yourself, get get your rest up before the uh, moon goes in the Aries and things uh, fire up a little bit and you start seeing these squares. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to start seeing a lot of squares. <laughs> like literally, you may even have a friend. You'd be like, man, this is a square ass nigga. That's what's going. That's what's going on, literally, nigga. When you look up, nigga, square shit. Yeah, you know I'm saying so. Flight boss, bitch. That's what's going on for the next couple weeks. I hope y'all niggas take this information and um and and elaborate on it so you can so you can see things coming a mile away. You know what I'm saying? See things coming a mile. You already know what field to jump in. You already know what force field to jump out of. You already know uh what negative and positive uh if if it's something negative that you'll need to go into right now, you're gonna you're gonna have enough confidence to jump out of that. If it's anything you need to be jumping into, you're gonna have confidence to jump into that in, in the next couple of days. But right now, get 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 emotionally and self aware and self contained right now. Chill for yourself right now. Get yourself right right now. You need to get you some motherfucker. If if you need to go get a drink, smoke some weed, something like that, do that right now and get that shit going on and then you'll be straight nigga flight boss and you'll be ready flight boss bitch